Hey loves, welcome back. My name is Clau and this is Cozy Pixels and today I will show you guys how to install the clean UI in my Let's Plays. A few of you already asked why my menu looks different than from the base game and that's because I use the clean UI mod which is absolutely amazing, absolutely stunning and I highly recommend you get it because it gives the game a whole new face. So what you have to do if you want to install is first open the link in the description for the mod download and you will see that it will open up this Tumblr post and the mod is by the amazing great cheesecake persona and high kudos for him because this mod is absolutely amazing. So what you have to do is scroll down here, read the features, read the recommended compatible CC because a few of these is actually needed for the clean UI to work properly and these are the things that are already included and you don't have to um, bother with them so for example here in the recommended compatible CC I would highly recommend widescreen cast camera fix because that's uh, that's really useful and if you're familiar with the problem that if you have a widescreen monitor if you go into create a sim the ui covers half of the face of your sim or stuff like that this will fix that and it's highly recommended and uh, you can have different loading screens and i have a different one and i will show you how you can install those so the first thing that you want to have is come here and click download make sure to press the little heart you don't need to register for it and i think it's like a nice gesture so after you download it make sure to open the zip file and i wouldn't say extract it first i would say let's open the installation instructions first so you can see here that the first thing that we need to do is open the two downloads folder and copy its subfolder to your sims2 downloads folder so this means that we have to open this one and copy this one to the downloads folder so on this pc the downloads folder is still empty if you don't know how to install cc and mods i would recommend you check out my other video in one of the corners where i explain how can you install custom content so what we will want to do is to just drag and drop this folder here and you can see it has lots and lots of subfolders, which we will take care of now. The second step, inside the moved clean UI folder, there are multiple choose one clean UI folders. In each one, you have to decide on exactly one package file you want to use. So that's what we are going to do. We open up each folder one by one. And here you can see a little JPEG file which shows you the two options that you have to choose from. So this is the buy plan outfit default and this is the widescreen no minimum width. So basically you have to decide which one you want to have and delete the other one. I will keep the widescreen one because I think that looks nicer. So I just delete the original one. We repeat this one in the next folder. Open the comparison. You can see that there are four different versions and you can see that it, they are based on the resolution of your screen so I will choose the one with the 1920 resolution and move on to the next folder and it's basically the same you check the file you choose which one you want to have you don't have to keep the ones that I have if you prefer the other ones then just feel free to keep those I would recommend having the no delete family button because you don't want to delete your families under any circumstance because that can cause corruption and this way you can't get tempted you can't mess up your game okay after you are done with this let's move on to the next step which is click on to installation folder and then move to base game ui folder and copy its content to the ui folder of the base game okay so we go up one level in our folder and open the two installation folder move to base game ui folder now you have to locate your folder so once you are located your ultimate collection or the sims 2 folders you have to find the base game and in the ultimate collection that should be in the double deluxe base es data and move to base game ui folder Choose one loading background screens. Open the comparison 
And you can see these are the ones that are included with the clean UI. But if you want to have one different from these, then in the post, there are linked um, four other versions. So I quickly just want to show you which ones are available. There is this one with the dark sky. There are these ones which are very, very simple. There's this one, which is also a minimalistic one. And this is one which is super colorful. I have this one in my own game. So I'm gonna download this one. So once you have the one that you want to install, you go into the res and UI folder and you just drop it here. And that should be all right for the loading screen. After that, you have to choose this file, GC, KP, Clean UI, Tooltip Graphic, and copy that as well into your UI folder. After that, we can move on. You see that there is another folder here in the to installation folder, and this is the move to cursor folders. You can see that there are a lot of them, and now we need to copy all of these into the installation folder. So you can see there are different ones, and let's start with the base game because we are here already. In the UI folder, there is one called Cursors, and you open the base game folder and copy everything out. And it will ask you to overwrite, and you just have to press overwrite. And that should solve everything. I would recommend copying the backup as well because it will. you never know when it comes handy. So let's move into the next one, which is Open for Business. Open for Business is in the Best of Business Collection, EP3, TS Data, Res, UI, Cursors. And just drop these here. Override. Let's move on to the next one, which will be Apartment Life. Apartment Life, luckily it has its own. Last one is Mansion and Garden, which is in the Fun with Pets SP9. Yes, Data, Press, UI. And one other thing that I want to show is how you add the different menu background, because I have a custom one as well in that, and this is this one, this lovely green um, plum bob one and if you want to install this i will show you how can you do that so first thing is you download and what you will have to do now is go back to the base game folder which is in the best uh no sorry uh, double deluxe base ds data press ui and copy this package file here this only works if you have a loading screen which is background only. So make sure that you pay attention to that. See this one, uh, GC, KP, Clean UI, Menu, Background only. You cannot use this with the Beach City and Rural because they have their own menu backgrounds and that should conflict. So be careful if you want to use this. But the way I show it, it works properly. So now that we are all done, let's launch the game. And now you can see this is the loading screen that we downloaded. So it works perfectly. I absolutely love this one. It's so clean, so nice looking. Oh, love it. And this is the menu screen that we downloaded and it works fine as well let's just open up the neighborhood and now you can see that the menu and the whole ui is different it's clean and white and you see there is no delete family button which is very healthy and your game will thank you for that later on but basically that would be it I, th I would say it's pretty easy. Also, there is this version called the Starship UI, which basically the clean UI, but in dark mode. So if you don't really like the white, you can just install this one as well. And I quickly want to show how can you do that. Link in the description for the download. So basically what you have to do is download this one. And it doesn't include that many files as the original one. So basically you have to open loading screen is basically you can just do the same that we did and you can keep the ones that we did earlier so basically this is the same version and pick only one package based on your monitor so this one 
is based on the resolution of your monitor and you have to pick only one so for example my monitor is like the 1920 so i will have to put this one into my downloads folder and basically that's it you don't have to change anything you don't have to uh, you don't have to choose from the packages like we did with the regular clean ui you just drop this into your downloads folder you put this into the installation like we did before with the loading screens and the cursors the same as we did last time so it's much easier and with this one you will have a dark mode ui which is i think looks very cool but i prefer the light one in this case please let me know guys if you need any kind of help with this i am always super happy to help but that would be it i would say it's kind of straightforward i hope it helped you guys if you have any problems let me know like this video if this was useful subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in the next video bye